Kai, you always have been. Always. He's been. This is the most considerate pussy cat I've ever known. Really. Really, Tiger. You, you smart pussy cat. Come on, I got some. I got, let me see if they left you any tuna. You wouldn't eat it before. Let me see if you'll eat it now. If there's any left. Oh my God, my hips, my knees, my fucking feet. Oh man, it's a beautiful day, but I don't know, man. I'm quite arthritic today. Oh, my knees are giving out. I hate that. When your knee buckles like that and you start to go down and your other leg catches you before you hit the ground, you know? Oh, Tiger laid down again? Good thing I for you. You want some tuna fish? Come on. Tuna fish. You don't want a tuna fish? No, you don't want a Tonga tuna? What do you want? Albacore? Hmm. My baby, come on. Hmm, Tiger, come on, no. All right. Yeah, food will be here for you for when you want to eat it. It's over there, okay? Hey, Tiger. What's up, my buddy? I love you so much. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Was hoping his heart thing was an injury that he could, you know, birth defect. He was born with a bad heart. Hey, Simba, get down. No, you understand, no, don't you? You're a good boy. What's up, my mama, pussy cat? My mama, tigress. I love you, Mama Tigress. You're such a good girl. You know that? You're a good mommy pussy cat. Let me see your nose. Is your nose clean? Oh, your nose is a little dirty too. Just a little. Let me see your nose. Is there no oh, Simba! Look at this. He's after the Piranha Joe. They got that out of my jewelry box. How did you get this out of my jewelry box? This is not a toy for you. I guess I can make it a toy, but he'll probably eat this. You see this rope? He's eaten these before. He likes to eat this, and I find it in his turds. You. Ow, oh, you got needles. You need... I gotta trim his claws. Your claws need to be trimmed, my friend. Yes, they do. Now he's going to go run under there so I can't trim his claws. Hey! What's going on? Whoa! What are you doing? No! Don't pull this down. We got... The past three months I had an algae explosion this spring. I set this thing up. And once this, you know, the sun comes back up north, it comes through this window in the morning, and I got antifreeze, and it looks like antifreeze. You can't even see through it. Huh. See? See that? Unbelievable. So I got blankets covering it to try to keep the sunlight out. Give it a few hours of light at night just to keep them all alive, you know what I mean? Jody! Look at this, I got him a toy yesterday on a stick and a string. It's destroyed. It didn't last five minutes. They ripped it to shreds. My little shredders! Simba, he's the shredder. He's the shredder. He won't let me clean. He's got big, long fish hooks on on those front paws. Big fish hooks he's got. My tiger! See, this is how tiger uses the pillow. He's a smart pussy cat. He always was a smart pussy cat. And he still is, even though he... Look, he's giving himself a bath there. 
I want to give him a bath, he won't let me. Now I know I, he might have a heart attack if I give him a bath, so. Uh, My buddy, you look pretty good though today. I know you're having a little bit of a hard time. I know, but he was purring away you now and then. He purrs when he wakes up. But when he's like kind of groggy, he's not purring. When he used to, always, he used to always purr. The purr box never used to stop. It stops now for hours at a time. Yeah. See how he's breathing? See how he's breathing? See, he's using the pillow to elevate him a little bit here so he can breathe. Easy, a little easier. He's using his abdominal moles, his stomach muscles, to inflate and deflate his lungs somehow. And, and you can see part of his lungs, but the heart is so enlarged and obstructed on the x-rays from three weeks ago that uh, I don't know man he doesn't want to be put down no he don't not yet that right tiger I know you're having a hard time I know you're having a hard time right now look at him he's having a hard time right now You want some of that? I know this pussycat. He lived in the, the crack and heroin house and marijuana house in Glenbrook there for many years. And uh, he likes this. He hates cigarettes. Thank God I got he got me to quit smoking this kitty cat. He hated cigarettes. Every time I used to light him up, he used to make faces and noises and run away from me. But if I would light one of them up, he'd come running right to me. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bougie Boo? Yeah, I know. I used to go over that house sometimes. I used to have a car. I used to park over there. And they used to rent me a space. Oh, man. I used to walk in there and the place would be full of marijuana smoke. And he'd be in there. Nice stoned kitty, enjoying himself. Hopefully they didn't give him anything else. Alright, so I know people are not alive anymore, but I remember when I used to give dogs and cats hits of cocaine all the time. When your back was turned. And you'd be wondering why your dog is fucking... Uh, Tripping out, you know. Uh. Mm, beautiful piece. It was just recently unwrapped. It's getting a little scratched up in here in my fucking room. I'm going to have to buff it. Look at all the scratches I got on it already. Some of the wrap is still on this picture. Right here in the corner, it's still wrapped. This thing was put away somewhere. I don't know how many of these they made. But I've seen this photograph of Richie Ed, uh, what's his name, Edwards or something? I forget now. Damn it, I found this picture too. It took me a long time. I was searching on Google in my phone. And then I finally found it. I forget, I looked up his name, I can't. You can see it's Richie something here. Oh, I forget. I'm going to have to look it up. 